Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and uh, today we're back with some more Shadowrun Returns. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that uh, all my surprise and all my reactions would be genuine. Uh, I actually recorded an hour of video which was lost when my computer decided to blue screen and corrupt everything. So, we're going to be taking a second run through this and uh, I'm going to be trying to do so a little bit quickly so I can maybe avoid a blue screen. Um, but, uh, you know, if uh, we go a little bit too long, uh, just to be safe, I might cut the episode, uh, you know, cut the episode short just to ensure that we can preserve the footage. Anyways, last time we, uh, we finally fought our way down through the hive. We made our way down here and, uh, you know, as evidenced by the fact that we're not in combat, we can walk around. We're about to have another little sto story point where we're going to talk with, uh, uh, Jessica Watts and Lynn Telestrian. Hey, ladies, how's it going? Jessica appears to be in the thro tho throes, yes, throes of a violent trance or mild seizure. A manic state brought on by the terrible energies she's attempting to conduct. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is terrible. I'm like, I'm sitting here, I'm going, having seizures. I'm just picturing, like, a villain with, like, that's having a seizure based on something. And the it's like the heroes, we just walk in, we're like, well, that was easy. Sorry. Anyways, Alex X, stop. The queen approaches. The vessel. The summoning. We cannot be disturbed. There's no vessel and there will be no queen. Or I beg to differ on that. I already took your precious vessel. Or your vessel is gone. This is over, Jessica. Now let's go with the, 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 the middle one. I beg to differ on that. I already took your precious vessel. Jessica's eyes roll back in her head. Whatever magic she is channeling is fast approaching a crescendo. Lynn speaks in her place. You may have taken Marie Louise, our chosen, but another Telestrian will take her place. I give myself willingly. I will be host to our queen and the mother of a new world. You'll be the mother of a dead world. Or you're insane, the both of you. Or you've seen what these things do, Lynn. This queen will devour you, body and soul. And we're gonna go at the bottom. We'll, we'll try to appease or appeal to her, be like, no. Harlequin makes an exaggerated grimace and then crap out a few billion young. Blech. No, I like Harlequin. I don't know, I don't know. I, I, just, I, I wish we would have more time with him in the game. No, I will become a perfect being. Through me and through my sacrifice, a new age will begin. When Jessica speaks next, her eyes have a disturbing sharpness. Her words are echoed by Lynn in a manner that suggests a connection beyond their shared zealotry. The hive has no thought beyond hunger, no goal beyond reproduction. We are one. Yeah, well, you know what? Sam had a hunger too, didn't he, Jessica? I'm just going to kind of go with the, the answers I gave last time. The, you know, the ones you didn't see. Because, you know, things broke. Sam had a hunger too, didn't he, Jessica? This seems to throw her off. What? You said it yourself. Sam had appetites. All that mattered to him was his next fix. Vile appetites. Appetites he couldn't control. And he died for them. Because I willed it. Yes, but why? There was more to it than just your mother. The hum of magical energy permeating the room seems to quiet. She's listening. You came under the thrall of these creatures long before you knew of your mother's death. The Brotherhood. They... They were a family to me. Yes, and they had already freed you from your old life, so why come back? Why kill Sam? Why indeed? She falters. I... I had to. For what he did. What he had become. You said his Sam represented a sickness in the world, but I think he represented the sickness in you. Dun dun dun! Alex telling it straight. You're... You're trying to confuse me. You saw a wrongness in yourself, and you projected it onto Sam. No, I, uh, he... He was your brother, Jessica, your twin. Don't you see? Jessica falls quiet. She bows her head. Uh, I'm sorry. But there's no turning back. I cannot undo what's been done, and I can't stop what's to come. Jessica's body then suddenly spasms, spasms, arcing her back and nearly lifting her off her feet. She lets loose a scream, falling somewhere between elation and agony. The queen is near. And I'm sitting here. Uh, when this first happened, I was like, holy crap, we finally get a new soundtrack, a new, new song, we'll say rather, we'll say for uh, the game. Um, I'm like, about freaking time. Um, so, uh, basically, uh, I, I was sitting here going, well, why is it 
that we didn't get this kind of, uh, we'll say, a, a change up of music throughout the game. But then again, Jason, that's just budget. Never mind. Let's just get into the fight and we can talk about that in a little bit. Uh, it's going to take me two actions to get up here. What we need to do is we need to focus on Jessica Watts. So for the first action, we're just going to open up fire and do as much damage to her as possible. Um, actually, can I hit her from where I am? I can. But I would ra much rather be on a ley line. If I were to go to this ley line here, would I be able to... I can't I can't put my cursor on this ley line because this insect pillar is in the way. Uh, you know, either way, it's going to take two actions to get to a ley line. So we're going to go ahead and run uh, Alex X over here to the ley line. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and maybe hit her with a, uh, a flamethrower. Yeah, we want to focus fire on her. Basically, the, as soon as she goes down, the fight is basically over. Now, um, Harlequin, he's going to be running around a lot with his sword, so I'm not going to try putting him behind cover. So let's actually go ahead and get, um, let's get our ghost behind, uh, cover here. And then have him start opening up fire. There we go. 15 damage. And probably be able to pull off another one. Actually, what does this do? Dead Eye Shot. We're going to guarantee that shot. <laughs> We're going to guarantee that missed shot. Go me. All right, so I, I think Portex can fire from here. He should be able to hit her. He's got a really ch low chance of hitting, but uh, for some reason, he always manages to get at least one hit. You know, I guess that kind of comes with uh, the territory of never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, it comes with the territory of having an automatic weapon. Uh, all right, well, let's see. Harlequin, does he have line of sight on her? He does. Now, he does have one spell at his disposal. Actually, it's mana ball and mana bolt. So let's go ahead and hit her first with a mana ball. And uh, that does actually a uh, damage over time effect as well as doing uh, the initial fi uh, 15 points of damage. So we're going to go ahead and hit her with that and then hit her with this. Now, after this first round, uh, we've got some bugs that come on in. Then we have to go ahead and, you know, deal with them. So let's go ahead and uh, take out the bugs now. Uh, I'm really sorry. You know what? I, my, <laughs> I'd say my commentary was a lot more, we'll say, on point. Uh, and just generally, we'll say better, uh, the first time through. But, uh, you know, everything was lost, and that was a real shame. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I had said last time, but yeah, it's not just it's, just, it's just not coming to me. All right. Now, when the bugs do show up, we don't want to uh, leave them go. We don't, like, like I said, we want to focus fire on Jessica, but we want to make sure that any bugs that come out of the woodwork uh, or the rock work or whatever the heck you want to call it we want to make sure that they are neutralized as quickly as possible uh just because uh they do a lot of they, they do a decent amount of damage now when they are actually harlequin's gonna run in i'm gonna get him to go right into close range with her um basically what happens is when the ghost comes out oh crap no i need harlequin there Okay, well, uh, because I need his uh, Aegis Launcher. Come on, there we go. These ghosts here, they don't do a whole lot of damage. So, what, uh, I think they do one, uh, minus one AP and then, uh, like, one point of damage to whoever they happen to hit. So, as you can see, that's really not a huge deal. Oh, I do still have a line of sight on it. Excellent. All right, so we were going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, no, we don't. Darn it. Okay. I'll run up, slash Jessica once. That'll put me in the line of sight with the, the bug. And getting some damage out. We're going to take one shot at it. Uh, it's not going to work. We're going to go ahead and do a quick strike on Jessica. Get that quick extra bonus damage in. And try one more time. There we go. Hit the ghost bug. Um, excuse me. It was my turn. Yo, yeah, 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 don't be stealing my turns. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We can take this bug out. Uh, yeah, we, you know, we get we get a ton of bugs that uh, start coming out. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure if, as long as you take her out as quickly as possible, then the uh, you stop getting bugs coming after you. I think that's how it works. So I'm I'm trying to. Like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to focus fire her down as quickly as possible. As you can see, though, she has quite a bit of health. 
All right, Portex, you go ahead and reload your gun. At this range, you, you really shouldn't be missing. G good job on missing. There, Portex, you're, you're, um, you're an inspiration to all of us. And that's another thing. She, she like, can heal herself, I think, like, uh, for 20 points on each turn. So, you gotta, we'll say, what the heck? Holy crap! I don't think I got hit like that the first time. That was uh, a little unexpected. Huh. Okay. All right. So obviously these things are a, lo a lot deadlier than, uh, than, uh, oh, come on, what's her name? Jessica. Then Jessica is, so we're gonna work on taking them out first here. Uh, but yeah, I guess there's one thing that, that this, uh, this does do for us. And that is, uh, it allows me to, um, we'll say express my thoughts a little bit about the game a little bit more. You see, uh, let me see. Uh, because, you know, the first time I was making a lot of observations, and this time here, uh, you know, I, I've kind of already made those observations. I think we're going to go ahead and use his healing. There we go. Um... You know, because I, I was trying to pinpoint. I'm like, you know, I've really had, I've had fun playing, uh, playing this game, but I've found that there, you know, there's something, something about it that I, I, I wasn't quite crazy about. That I was kind of like, ah, that, that could have definitely been done better. And uh, I think one, the, the real problem with the game is that there's, it's kind of. Well, maybe the uh, the problem. Uh, well, it's not exactly the same problem I would have with a game like, say, Daggerfall, uh, but it's kind of along the same lines. Where I feel like the game is not necessarily incomplete, but there's not enough to it. I think, yeah, that's probably the best way to put it. Is that the game itself is good, the action is good, it plays out well. Um, there's a, there's a is a decent amount of letting each sort of class uh, sort of shine. But the problem is, because of the, we'll say their budget, I'm not gonna blame them for being lazy. It's, it was obviously, you know, budget, it was a Kickstarter game, right? Uh, and honestly, what I think happened is that, uh, you know, they, they were forced into this, lin making this linear experience. Uh, let's see, 84%, 83. So the ghost has got a better chance of hitting with the, okay. Uh, and as such, Darn it. The... I'm trying to think here how to put this. The game suffered for it. The game didn't have enough con content, there was not enough side quests, and the usual kind of thing you would expect from uh, an RPG. And that that's what I think ultimately is my, my gripe with the game. It's, it's I, I wanted more. <laughs> it's, I, I wanted more of the game, which is a good sign, right? It's, uh, it's like, hey, this is... Um, you know, the game is uh, is actually decent enough to make me want to play it more. Um, but at the same time, it's lacking enough to make it a, a bit a bit disappointing. Now, I want to go ahead and heal uh, Portex, but this bug here is going to be, uh, it's going to just devastate us on the next turn. So what I'm going to do, I think I can use Petrify on it. We're going to go ahead and sort of uh, lock that sucker down. Yes. So it's not going to be able to act on the next turn. And uh, it's going to be, actually it's going to be petrified for another couple rounds. Which allows us to sort of just focus on Jessica for a bit, get her down, and, you know, you know maybe win this fight. Uh, we have been wounded though. Uh, who's, who's got it worse? Eh, well, we'll, we will heal Harlequin. I feel like he's a little bit more important uh, since he ha does have one of the Aegis launchers. Um, because even after we take out Jessica, what's going to happen is we're going to need to still deal with any bugs that have not been dealt with already. Like, for example, this one. That's great. Uh, do I have another crowd control? I do. Let's try this one. Let's see, can I, can I, is this confusion going to work on it? Yes! Sweet, these things are not, uh, we'll say infallible. Okay, come on, you, like, you, you got the jump on her from behind, you couldn't have just put the barrel, barrel to her head? Come on, guy. 
Yeah, she's in the red. Come on, Vortex. Don't suck. You sucked. Why did you have to suck? I'm kind of hoping that our confused bug will... Yes. Hunt her down. All right. Uh, this guy here is uh, still petrified. We're going to run over to this ley line. And hopefully finish her off. Come on. Weak damage hit. Darn it. Okay. I'm not sure we're going to be able to t take her out. I don't want to, I didn't want to use, um, like my ball lightning or anything because that would potentially hit my, uh, my confused friend over there. Okay. We're going to try to take her out. She's so close to going down and I used up another action. Darn it. Um, that's going to take what? Two actions to run up and hit with, uh, Harlequin. Okay. We need to take this guy out because he's about to get his action points back. And when he does come back, he's going to be a pain. And Portex is out of ammo. All right, Portex, why don't you go ahead and reload? I don't know, just... Portex, you do you. You just do whatever. You just start shooting wildly and doing small bits of damage here and there. Oh, awesome, finally! Okay, so, um... Uh, Actually, I need a second here to think about what how I'm going to do this. If the fight is playing out different than it did last time, which is something I like. It shows that, you know, um, well, then again, my, my place, my character placement were different. My character placements were different uh, than they were the first time. But, uh, you know, I like that the fights can play out in different ways each time. Okay, so this guy we don't have to worry about for another action. We do need to take this bug out, though. So, let's go ahead and take it out. Come on. Okay, sweet. Now, Harlequin, uh, if you run all the way over here, it's going to take you, what, two actions? Yes. We might be able to take her out here. So he's going to run over. Slasher, 16 points of damage. We'll get our free hit in with Quick Strike. Only did three. And cross your fingers. Here we go. Yes! You have ruined everything! And then she runs off into a back room. Never to be seen again. And she's healing herself. And we've gained 10 points of karma. Awesome, we've, we've, we've stopped the ceremony. So now all that's left to do is to wipe out the bugs. That's something that I feel like we can do that. That's something I feel like we can do that. I, I am good English, yes? All right. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is just get Mr. Harlequin buddy here. Actually, let me, what spells are on cooldown for me? I could actually use Pe Petrify again. So I could go ahead and I'll uh, we'll say crowd control this guy here. I do think he's still confused. Yes. So I don't think I'll need to deal with him until next the next action. So let's kill the ghost bug first. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? We got some karma, right? Well, holy crap, we got 18 points of karma. So, what are we going to use it on? Well, I could go ahead and use it to uh, reduce uh, chance of being hit by enemy physical attacks. Or, I could give myself some, some, uh, self some points in ranged combat so that Alex can use her Aegis Launcher. Hmm, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, points there. There, now, now she's not completely useless with her Aegis Launcher. Still got four points of karma, and we'll hang on to those for the time being. So let's switch over to the sucker and see. 76% chance of hitting. And she missed twice? Interesting. Alright, well, I'll get her to reload. Uh, at least we got one hit in, because I'm a little bit scared because of how far away this thing is. I'm not sure that... Um, we will be able to take out the ghost on this on this action. So I was like, I, I want to get those uh, an extra chance here by bringing Alex into the the mix. Come on, yes. All right. So now Harlequin and Portex are uh, ready to rock. Now, if I fire on him now, he's going to attack me on the next turn. There's the chance that he's going to attack anyways. Okay, I'm going to get Portex to reload his gun and go on Overwatch. Uh, Harlequin. He does have magic. I'm going to put him on a ley line over here. 
and let's see what happens. Enemies moving. Okay, so it looks like it's it's uh, no longer confused. So if it says confused, that means it's probably just about to run out of confusion. Good to know for, you know, the next time I play the game or I play uh, the sequel or I don't know if it's actually even a direct sequel. I just know it's the game that came after uh, Dragonfall or China or it was it Chinatown? Whatever. You know, the next Shadowrun game. Which actually I hear, uh, like, like I was saying a second ago and then I got distracted. Uh, my gripes with the game tended to be that, you know, I wanted more of it. Uh, you know, it's like, darn it, where's the rest of the game? Uh, where are the side quests? You know, it's a really cool game. It plays well. I want more of it. And that's really sort of my gripe is, you know, the budget was too low. It could have been awesome. And from what I understand, uh, that actually is corrected in the uh, the other uh, other Shadowrun games. So I, I don't know if I'll be playing those on here. Oh, I, I probably will play them on here eventually, but not immediately after this. I think after... Uh, I finished this one here. We're gonna take a break from Shadowrun for a little while. I, I like to have a bit of a variety on my uh, my channel. You know, I like to have uh, different types of games and stuff like that. And we'll, we we will be uh, playing something different for the next game. But uh, I definitely want to come back to the the world of Shadowrun because uh, it's good. I like it. And I hear the, the the future games are even better. So let's go ahead and take out this bug, and that will end combat for us. He does need to reload his gun. All right, uh, Harlequin, why don't you go ahead and fire two? Awesome. You be dead. And that's it. Uh, we can't do anything about these weird insect pillars, so we're not going to do anything about it. Eliminate the rest of the insect true forms, and we gained five karma. Awesome. So now we are in the final room here with Jessica. The once beautiful Jessica Watts is a hollow shell of her former self. Her skin is pale, her lips are ashen, and her eyes are sunken in her skull. It is more than her body's reaction to the physical damage she sustained, or the strain of channeling magical power from another plane of existence. There is something missing from her now. It's gone. My link to the- The Queen! She has abandoned me! Expelled me! Unworthy. Unworthy. It had to be done. This nest would have overrun the city if I, we hadn't stopped you. Whatever pain you're feeling is far less than what you deserve, or there's still hope for you, Jessica. Now. Uh, when, I, when I've seen this whole thing, you know, I've, I've been playing like Diablo lately and I, you know, I've, you know, when I think about Lord of the Rings, you know, things can corrupt people. And I'm kind of wondering if that's sort of the case here, you know, was she sort of corrupted by this queen's influence? Because she's shown remorse. She's apologized. So it makes me wonder, you know, maybe there is still hope for her and maybe we shouldn't just, we'll say, reject her outright. So there's still hope for you, Jessica. She bows her head and closes her eyes, forcing a torrent of tears to cascade down her cheeks. I wish that were true, but there's no hope for me now. There's no hope for anyone. She opens her eyes, and there's nothing but hopelessness within. There is a nest like this in every major city. There's no stopping them. Oh, God. And Sam. I'm so sorry, Sam. And now, this, this is actually pretty much where I crashed. But I like this. Basically, you get your choice of what to do with her. Jessica looks at you pleading. Please, Alexix, don't let them. Don't let them eat me. I promise justice for Sam. This feels like justice. Do nothing but watch. Oh, they'll eat you, but Sam is going to get justice first. Kill her before the bugs do. Or death would be too quick a punishment. You're going to pay for what you've done. Take her with you. Honestly, they all sound kind of harsh. I guess the bottom one... Well, I, I guess she does deserve it, you know, because she was... Well, then again, was she in control of her own actions? It's so strange. It's kind of this weird ground. Although, ultimately, I feel like the bottom one is the one I'm going to go with. Death would be too quick a punishment. You're going to pay for what you've done. We'll take her with us. There's... She lowers her head in shame. I understand. We're not going to go ahead and kill her. You know, like, I don't know. Y you, you feel more karma. Is there, like, more to the game? Like, why am I still getting karma? Now, I understand, I understand it's possible that we can maybe carry our character over to the other Shadowrun games. Maybe that's... I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. I might be I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Anyways. Out of the shadows, you emerge from the Universal Brotherhood chapter house momentarily blinded by the bright lights of the Lone Star perimeter surrounding the exit. Despite the clean night air, the stench of itch-ictor and decay clings to you, a smell that may never fully go away. 
You drop your Aegis-filled shotgun and quickly, and it's quickly spirited away by one of Telestrian's miners. Minions. Miners. Oh my goodness. Weapons are slowly lowered as you step out into the street. The order coming from D D Detective McCluskey himself. You can see James Telestrian just nearby, pulling the strings. Or his strings. It's over. Jessica Watts has been dealt with, and Sam has his justice. The dead man's deed is done. All you need now is to make a phone call, and it ends. And you know what? We're going to actually end it in the next episode. I realize, uh, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how long this next part is. Like I said, I blue screened at the, the decision last time. Uh, but I'm scared that we're go I'm going to lose this. Uh, I'm going to lose everything all over again. So we're going to go ahead and end things here. And next time where we will finish off Shadowrun Returns, I suspect. I, I don't know. They're giving us karma. So I'm pretty sure we're done. But yeah, we'll do that next time. So if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And uh, until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.